In this video, we'll look at a mixture problem, where we're given more about the final solution than we are about the initial solutions. A farmer has two types of milk. One is 24% butterfat, and another, which is 18% butterfat. How much of each should he use to end up with 42 gallons of 20% butterfat? These mixture problems, we like to organize in our tic-tac-toe table with one extra row, where we take the amount times the part, or the percent, is equal to the total. We have two types of milk. One is 24% butterfat, 0.24, and the other is 18%, 0.18. We don't know the amount of each that we're using, though, so let's call them x and y. What we are told is the final solution is 42 gallons at 20%. 42 is the amount, and 0.2 is the percent. Again, once the percent column is filled in, I make sure that bottom row's percent, 0.2, is between the other two percents. 0.2 is between 0.18 and 0.24, so I'm ok. We're ready to fill in the rest by multiplying the amount times the percent to get the total. Gives me 0.24x, 0.18y, and 42 times 0.2 is 8.4. We now are able to get our equations, which we can use to solve this problem. As we have two variables, we need two equations. They're going to come off the first and last columns. x plus y tells us the amount of the two milks is equal to 42, the total final amount we want, and 0.24x plus 0.18y will give us the amount of butterfat out of the 42, which is 8.4. We now have a system of equations we can solve by getting opposites in front of y. We can do that by multiplying by negative 0.18 on both sides. This gives us negative 0.18x minus 0.18y equals 42 times 0.18, which is negative 7.56. The second equation is still 0.24x, plus 0.18y equals 8.4. And when we combine the equations together, we get 0.6... I'm sorry, where is it? 18 minus 24 is 0.06x equals 8.4 minus 7.56. 0.84. To get the x alone, we divide both sides by 0 0.06, 0 0.06, and we finally have our value for x at 14. We still need our value on the y, or the other milk. Going back to the original equation, we know x plus y is 42. So 14 plus y is 42, and subtracting 14 from both sides, we end up with 28 for our y. Let's clearly identify what each variable is in terms of the problem. x was the amount, according to our table here, at 24% butterfat. So we have 14 gallons at 24% butterfat. y, the 28 gallons, looking at our table, we see is at 18% butterfat. And we have our solution, which we found by organizing all of our given information in a table, multiplying the amount times the part to equal the total. Using the first and last columns, we came up with two equations and two variables, which we could use to find our solutions.